So Juana Inez de la Cruz is an interesting historical figure in her own right. She's considered the first great Latin poet, and she's recognized along with great names like Anne Bradstreet as not simply the first of the women writers in North America, but the first writers on the continent, period. She lived in what was then called New Spain, but is now called Mexico. Sor Juana, or Sister Juana's primary work is a rebuttal to a high-ranking clergyman who, under a pseudonym, harshly criticized an essay she wrote on behalf of women's need and propensity for intellectual pursuits. The backlash from her rebuttal was severe, and the consequences cost her nearly everything she held dear, particularly her library, art, and musical and scientific instruments. Her entire set of works is engaging and smart, and so many of her poems and essays remind me of Mary Wollstonecraft, whose work would not show up in England for another 200 years. In other words, Sister Juana was way, way, way ahead of her time. The poem we will read in this module is Sonnet 189, or On the Death of That Most Excellent Lady, Marquesa de Mancera. Which is in the poem, which is a poem that grieves the death of Sister Juana's patron, referred to in the poem by her first name, Laura. As you read the poem, note the honor Sor Juana attributes to her patron. Laura was not only her financier, but she was also her inspiration, the one for whom her clumsy scribblings represent black tears her pen has shed to ease its pain. Ask yourself, in the midst of grieving someone who has given so much, how does the living person continue to honor the memory? 